Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to ask myself and you this serious question, a question that we need to reflect upon. Why do we follow the path of the shaitan? Why follow the path of the shaitan when we know he's our enemy? Why follow the path of the shaitan when we know he is destroying our life? Why follow the path of the shaitan when we know that he only wants sadness for us? Why follow the path of the shaitan when we know he wants poverty for us? People these days follow the path of the shaitan. They are becoming more of the slaves and the servants of the shaitan more than what they are the slaves of Allah Azza wa Jalla, the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People listen to the shaitan what the shaitan calls for. People follow the path of the shaitan, follow the orders of the shaitan. Follow whatever shaitan deceives them. And shaitan is our enemy. Innahu lakum aduum mubeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran Kareem, in many verses, he's a clear and evident enemy to you. Shaitan is our enemy, not our friend. It does not make sense that we follow our enemy. It does not make sense that we listen to our enemy. It does not make sense that we trust our enemy. Is that what it is now these days? That shaitan is the one that we listen to and shaitan is the one that we obey. You find many Muslims these days, that all they do is obey the shaitan. Everything the shaitan will ask them to do, they'll do. And everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells them to do, they would not even do. What happened? Is that what life is about? But I want to ask you something. Do you know that shaitan is your enemy? Do you know that shaitan is your enemy? And because he's your enemy, do you know that shaitan only wants sadness for you? Do you know that shaitan wants to destroy your life? Do you know that shaitan does not want to see you happy? How could you follow him? How could you listen to him when you know that's the shaitan? How could you obey the shaitan when you know that shaitan wants to destroy your life and wants sadness and corruption for you? And not only that, people even obtain their income and earning through haram mean, thinking, thinking that this is a way that they could become rich. And they know it is the way of the shaitan. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Shaitan only, only brings poverty upon you. Don't you ever think through the haram, you'll ever become rich. Don't you ever think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless your will through the haram. Don't you ever think through the path of the shaitan or any path that you earn an income through the shaitan, you ever become rich. You only become poor and poor and poor. Don't you ever think through the path of the shaitan, you'll be happy. Don't you ever think through the path of the shaitan, you'll succeed. You will never ever be happy and you'll never ever be rich and you'll never ever, be, you'll never, ever succeed through the path of the shaitan. Your happiness and your success, your happiness and your success it's only through the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why do you follow the shaitan? What amazes me, people come and say, Wallahi, I'm doing this sin, and I know it's from the shaitan. Why listen to the shaitan? Why listen to the shaitan when you know it's from the shaitan? Why follow the path of the shaitan when you know it is the shaitan? Why? Why obey the shaitan when you know it's the shaitan? Keep away from your, shay- keep away from your enemy. Keep away from the shaitan. We've made our life revolve around the orders of the shaitan will iyadu billah. And we forgot Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We forgot the Quran al Kareem. And that's why our lives are not in the best state. That's why we find our life a miserable life, a sad life, a life of full of failing, and life of full of no success. The reason is that we follow the shaitan. We've taken the shaitan as our role model. We've taken the shaitan as our leader. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, لا تتبع خطوات الشيطان. Do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan. Shaitan is there to destroy you. Shaitan is there to corrupt you. Shaitan is there to make you sad. It amazes me how could someone listen to shaitan knowing that shaitan only wants sadness and corruption for them. We know what's the path of the shaitan. We could distinguish between the path of Allah and the path of the shaitan. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, الحلال بين والحرام بين حلال is clear and حرام is clear. Halal is the path of Allah and the haram is the path of the shaitan. And the Prophet ﷺ says it's very clear. It is clear and between those two there are doubtful matters. There are doubtful matters. Those doubtful matters are haram too. 
So it's clear to us what's the path of Allah, and it's clear to us what's the path of the shaitan. We need to follow the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no success, there is no happiness. There is no success, there is no happiness on the path of the shaitan. That's why my brother and my sister, why follow the shaitan? Why follow the shaitan? We follow the shaitan and then we find ourselves in disasters. We follow, we follow the shaitan and then we find ourselves in big problems. We follow the shaitan and then we find ourselves in devastating situations. And then we say, why is this happening to me? Because you followed the shaitan. So don't follow the shaitan and it would not happen to you. You have family problems because you follow the shaitan. You have financial problems because you follow the shaitan. You have social problems because you follow the shaitan. The shaitan is your enemy. Remember, he is your enemy. An enemy does not want good for an enemy. And an enemy does not want best for an enemy. Shaitan declared war on this human being long way before Adam alayhi salam was created. Long before Adam alayhi salam was living. Long before Adam alayhi salam, long before the soul of Adam. Shaitan declared war on this human being long way from then. And shaitan is working so hard. Shaitan will continue to work so hard to deceive the son of Adam. He made a promise that I'll continue to deceive the children of Adam. And I'll continue to deceive this human being until I see every single one of them in the hellfire. Shaitan wants you to enter the hellfire. Why listen to the shaitan? Why follow the footsteps of the shaitan when you know it is the shaitan? Why follow the footsteps of the shaitan when you know it is the shaitan? Why don't you follow the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Why end up in the hellfire with the shaitan when you could end up in the paradise with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Keep away from the deceptions of the shaitan. And the way you keep away from the deceptions of the shaitan is by relying on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and know more about Allah azza wa Know more of Islam. Get closer to Allah azza wa jalla. And the closer you are to Allah is the further you are away from the shaitan and the closer you are to the shaitan is the further you are away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala get closer to Allah azza wa jal learn more about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as knowledge is a shield against the shaitan when you learn more and you increase your knowledge more and you increase your ilm you become more strong against the shaitan you become more stronger against the shaitan and the deception of the shaitan involve yourself around those and revolve yourself around those who fear Allah Azza wa Jal. When you're around good people, those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those people help you to be, to, to, to be protected from the deception of the shaitan. So my brother and my sister, why follow the shaitan when you know the shaitan is your enemy? Why follow the shaitan when you know shaitan wants to destroy you? Why follow the shaitan when you know shaitan wants to corrupt you? Why follow the shaitan when you know shaitan wants to make you poor? Why follow the shaitan when you know shaitan wants you to enter the hellfire? Follow the path of Allah. Follow the path of the Prophet of Allah. Follow the path of the Quran. And you'll be safe. You'll be successful. You'll be happy. I ask Allah to make us from those who listen and hear, act upon what they listen and hear. Subhanakallahumma hamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayhi.